Okay, here's the model that I have so far in Fusion 360. Um, it's not done yet, but I have some of the foundation ready. Um, so basically there's a lot of parts on here that I can start 3D printing and there's a few parts on here that you can see that are I've assigned a, an MDF material that I'm going to try to cut with the mill because they're going to take about five minutes versus uh, 12 hours to 3D print. So um, yeah, you can see I have these two side panels and this one base panel right here that um, should be stronger and way quicker to, to, to cut out of the quarter inch MDF instead. So we shall see what happens. Okay, so here you can see where I've, uh, I've programmed the, the cam operation in the software so it's going to simulate uh, what it's supposed to do whenever I send this file to the machine. So we'll just hit play here and see what it's supposed to do. This is for, I believe, the, the base MDF piece. So I had to enter in a bunch of information with um, the dimensions of the mill size and I had to calculate um, what speed it should cut at and, and a bunch of stuff. And from that it, it figures out these paths and how fast it should go and how deep it should cut and it kind of does its own order it looks like to, to what it wants to cut and when. But it looks like it'll work. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, I'm a little concerned that if my machine isn't exactly level or square, that it might not cut all the way through. So I might have to do a couple tries or adjust my file so that it cuts deeper than the quarter inch MDF that I bought um, and, and use like a, a piece that can just get trashed underneath. All right, so that looks like what it's gonna do. All right, I'm out here in the garage. I figured out how to get my file out to this laptop and into its software. And so I'm running a, I'm doing like a dry run test operation without the material or the, the router running or anything. I just wanna see if it's gonna, gonna go where I think it's supposed to go. Looks like now it's cutting out where the big circle would be. Oh, now the second pass. All right, all right. I've got uh, my quarter-inch MDF in there. Seems to be secure. And I've got the router centered right on the center of my board here. So hopefully if everything's right, um, when it makes the outer circle, it's not going to hit these clamps and everything's going to be good. So I think I'm ready to get this show started. All right, it started. Looks like it's come, cutting out the center hole. Oh, it just flew out. Oh, it's cutting one of the slits. Wow. This is pretty cool. And it's not as loud as I thought it was going to be with the enclosure. It's, uh, it's, not, it's very tolerable. Wow. This is going so fast. Oh, it's drilling out of a little hole now. I'm kind of, I want to see it cut the big circle out. Wow. 
Uh, I'm gonna be really shocked if this works on my first try. But it's so far, it's looking like exactly what I want. Oh, here we go. Now it's doing the outer edge. I programmed it in to leave these little tabs so that it wouldn't cut all the way through and it'd hold the piece in place. But uh, that little center circle flew out, so I'm hoping that these will hold. Otherwise, we might have problems. Because it hasn't finished drilling all the holes yet. Also, I need to do something about my core. It looks like it could be getting in the way there. Oh, here, this must be the final pass because I can see it lifting to leave the little pads. Hopefully they're strong enough. So that's good. All right, I'm not gonna make you watch the rest of the holes. I'll show you whenever it's all finished. Well, it looked like it turned out really good. I can already see where I'm really glad I I uh, built the enclosure first because there's dust everywhere. Um, so all right, I'm gonna clean this up and get it out and see what it looks like. So it looked like the little the tabs around the edge to hold it in place didn't uh, really work. They were too small and was thin. But luckily at that point, um, all I had left to do was drill some holes, so it didn't really move out of position. And it looks perfect. Like the edges are all really cl clean and crisp. And um, yeah, and that took eight minutes versus what did I say around twelve hours to print it out with a three D printer. So this is like really cool. So here is, it's gonna be like that the new plate there that, that everything rests on in my, let's see, this must be like the third or fourth version of my build. So I guess this is working. So now I've gotta start uh, 3D printing a lot of new parts. <laughs> build this thing together. All right, that's it, bye.